It's the Kingpin ready to have some fun. Now, what are we talking about today? If this is your first time watching a Buffalo Fanatics video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified, you have to hit that bell notification. But before we get started, I have to give a shout out to the Fanatics Bing team. You guys know who you are. Huge shout out to you guys. You guys make this this channel what it is right now. So I have to give a shout out to the Fanatics Bing team. So a huge shout out goes to Joseph Tillman, Robert Watkins, Bills D2OP, Andrew Krantz, Jesse Parson, Raymond Peterson, Mr. Big, Tack Attack, and Richard Upton. Huge shout out to you guys, man. I appreciate all the love. Now let's get right on to this video. So the Buffalo Bills are six and two yet Bills fans still want to complain. Like, what the heck is going on here, man? Every game is not going to be a, a nice, pretty blowout game. There's going to be times when, you know, we're not going to look as clean as we would like to look. But you have to win those games and hope that as the season goes along, we're able to clean up those minor executable mistakes. Because it really just comes down to execution. It comes down to the offense being able to execute in certain moments of the game. But I, what I wanted to applaud Brian Dable is that he watched my last video and he said, I'm going to do exactly what the King Penn said to do. <laughs> Shout out to Brian Dable. Like I said, the winning formula is real simple. For this team, the 2019 Buffalo Bills, the formula is simple. Run the ball, play great defense with efficient quarterback play. And that's exactly what we did last week. And I'm going to show you just a couple plays that if we just clean up on a couple executable things, we would be putting up consistent numbers. So let's just check out this play right here. On the first drive, we had success. As you can see right here, we had, you know, seven first downs already in the first quarter. So we're moving the ball at will based off of Brian Dable's play calls, right? And the execution of the offense. So on the second drive, we once again, you know, drove the ball well and got the ball all the way down to the two yard line. So what I'm thinking that Brian Dable was thinking was, okay, it's first and goal at the two, we'll bring in the jumbo package, but let's maybe pass on first down to try to catch them off guard. And then if that doesn't work, you know, we throw the ball away and just you no know, run on, on second and third down if need be. Instead, what happens is that Josh Allen sees Frank Gore. He sees Frank Gore right here. He could have easily just passed the ball and maybe Gore makes a move and gets into the end zone right there. Instead, he doesn't pull the trigger. He doesn't throw the ball away and takes the sack. So now, as far as Brian Dable, you just eliminated half of the playbook by a minor executable error. This is just pure situational football. And Josh Allen made a critical mistake at this particular moment. In my opinion, it falls on Allen. You have to know the situation here and understand that you cannot take the sack. If it's not there, stop playing hero ball and just throw it away to live and play another down. It's just minor executable mistakes that prevent us from sustaining these drives and putting up consistent points. So it's in the third quarter. We're driving the ball. We're in, you know, Redskins territory. And Josh Allen has a, you know, solid ball to Dawson Knox, but he falls a yard short. Now, Frank Gore has been getting these short, tough yards all season. But. If you were to look at Mitch Morris, he gets pushed right back and gets into the way of Gore making his move. So if Mitch Morris didn't trip and get blown up, you can make an argument that Frank Gore gets that same tough yard that he's been getting all season. So it's not a play calling thing. It's an execution error. You know, we have to sometimes fault players for not executing on a consistent basis. So those are just the little things that we have to clean up. Frank Gore deserved that damn carry right there, all right? Mitch Morris, hold your damn block and keep your feet. Now, when you look at this play, I want you to focus on Quentin Spain and just tell me who, who is he supposed to block? 
And was Frank Gore expecting him to block somebody? Like, what's Quentin Spain doing here? You see the defender hitting the hole. Quentin Spain, make a block. It's just the minor executable things. Just make the block. You just, you know what I mean? So, again, we could sit there and say Frank Gore shouldn't have got those carries. And you could be right. You could be right. But Frank Gore, throughout the season so far, has proved that he's been pretty damn reliable. I would expect Brian Dable to go back to the well that's been working all season and expect that the rest of the team does their 111. You know, so I know it's easy to place blame and want to put blame on someone whenever we don't look at our best. Whenever things aren't perfect, it's always, well, let's blame, uh, and it always seems to be the offensive coordinator. So I'm saying all that to say this. It doesn't always have to be on the offensive coordinator. You know, maybe just understanding that our offense is young as a whole, young as far as playing together. So understanding that, hey, there's going to be mistakes and the fact that we're winning these games, knowing that we're still making minor executable mistakes is a huge plus because you have to think going forward that we're going to eventually you know clean that stuff up and make this offense more consistent now what i will say about brian dable is brian dable woke up just a bit i think brian dable understood that okay maybe we shouldn't put the ball in josh allen the hand as much as we have been doing because even though josh allen has been getting better it has been proven as well that he's susceptible of turning the ball over and even last game where, yes, we didn't lose the fumble, but it's like, yo, Allen, what's up, man? You know what I mean? Stop with the turnovers. And our offense is showing that we're able to run the ball almost at will, right? Again, a couple of minor things, but overall, our running game is very solid. And what we did last week is similar to what the Ravens do, you know, similar to what the 49ers do. Run the ball and play efficient at quarterback. And if you have a solid defense, that's a formula to win games at a consistent level so let me know what you guys think in the comments is brian dable really to blame and could the bills run the table you guys let me know in the comments huge shout out to the buffalo fanatics a huge shout out to the fanatics bing team you guys know who you are if you're watching this video and want to join the fanatics bing team all you got to do is go to join the fanatics.com and join the family it's the kingpin and i'm out